there everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new my name is crystal and on this channel i talk about all things fashion beauty and lifestyle so today i have a fashion type video for you guys i'm going to be giving you guys a review of my gucci bag that i have probably shown entirely too much on this on this channel but um i did purchase this in january and told you guys i would give you a whole full review on it so that's what i'm going to do today and i'm also going to do like a what's in my bag so you can kind of see what fits inside this bag in case you were interested in purchasing it so yeah so if you are interested in seeing what i have in this bag plus my thoughts and in, in review of this bag then just keep watching All right, so before I get into showing you guys the bag review, I thought I would give you guys a outfit of the day. I'm gonna try to do this with like my sit down video so you guys can see um, my outfit because I know you guys love my fashion content on here. So why not show you guys outfit of the day? So, um, so the first thing I have on or from head to toe, I have um, these sunglasses, which it's not even sunny outside, but I just love them. I just recently got these from Amazon and they're just like very trendy. I think they're like a knockoff of, of like some designer glasses. I think the Celine's, I believe. Um, but yeah, I love these little glasses. They're just so different and I just like, I like the shape of them. I like how they just kind of like pointy. They're like, I don't know. They're just very chic and just very, just like very sophisticated. So um just wanted to kind of share those with you guys and i'll link them down below they were only like maybe under 30 dollars if that but they're just so cute and just very designer-esque and then i have on this um sweater vest i love vests. i just have a huge collection of them and i just keep collecting them but i love this one it's like in this cream kind of yellowish kind of color and i just love it it's just like cable knit kind of detail and i got this from mango just recently and just to kind of show you it is it is rather long i have it kind of tucked but it is it is kind of long so you can kind of get away with wearing it like that or you can like do it like i had it and tucked um i i think i prefer it tucked um like that so um and then i just have on a plain white shirt i don't even know where i got this shirt from i think it's from I don't know I think it's from JC Penny I'm not sure don't quote me on that but yeah and then I have on these um, like split hem or split leg um, like leggings that I got from Zara I love these leggings they are just so cute I actually purchased some in a like a caramel or like a nude color and I'm gonna show you guys those in an up-and-coming Zara and mango haul so stay tuned for that I have on these zebra print flat um, shoes that i also got from zara and i just thought it looked cute with this outfit kind of brings out the beige and the black and so yeah and then i have of course have on my bag the gucci bag that i'm going to be reviewing and then i have on just like this little like chain necklace that i got from i can't think i got this over this last summer at shein and then i just have on a like a little twist ring that I got from Anna Luisa and then I have on my wedding ring and then I have on just some little layering bracelets that I also got from Shein and then I also have on I can show you I have on these like earrings like they kind of go with my ring like little twisted kind of croissant kind of looking um earrings that i also got from anna louisa these were gifted the ring the earrings were gifted from anna louisa jewelry so i did like a review on those as well so yeah so that is the outfit of the day or the look of the day and so just wanted to share with you guys what i'm wearing so all right so now we're going to get into the review and the what's in my bag all right so before i get into what's inside let me just give you like my review my thoughts on it you know um yeah just kind of let you guys know how i feel about it um so first off i did purchase this bag from a website called farfetch which is like a luxury um like online retail store or online retailer and they just have multiple different brands or luxury higher-end brands on that site you can pretty much find any brand that you want and they also have a like pre-love section as well if you want to purchase something that's you know pre-loved or pre-owned um by the way this isn't sponsored by farfetch at all they don't even know i my channel exists um but i 
found the website through other youtubers and bloggers that i follow but i like to dabble into the luxury market so yeah so I, that's where i purchased this bag from was um, farfetch and i also purchased a few other items there i think i purchased two other items from there as well so yeah um but anyway so yeah i got this bag from farfetch because i was originally saw it on the gucci website because like i told you guys if you've been following me especially if you saw like my luxury uh 40th birthday like luxury i don't know if I, I don't even remember what i named that video but it was like my 40th birthday haul where i showed you guys everything that i got for my 40th birthday and most of those items were luxury items i think i mentioned in that video that i had wanted um to get some gucci items for my birthday because i didn't have any gucci items i think the only gucci item i had was a, a gucci watch that my husband had got me um a few years ago and so i wanted a gucci handbag and i couldn't decide which one i wanted um i just knew i wanted one because i didn't have one and so i saw this on the gucci website and i was like hmm, that's different i don't see a lot of people with that particular style of marmont because this is the gucci marmont bag it's one of the styles of it because typically the ones i've seen have all been the material has been all leather and this is like a canvas kind of a print as you can see um so which brings me to my first point about this bag is that i love that part of it that's kind of why i chose this one over the other gucci marmots because i wanted i knew i wanted one of those bags because i just thought they were so elegant and just so simplistic and just so minimalistic and would go with anything so i saw this version of it and so i was like you know what i feel like i can get you know multiple different wears out of it as far as wearing with different outfits i felt like it would look you know good with different outfits so that's why i chose this one and as you can see it's just the canvas print with the double g's and then it has the double g's here and it just has like the black here trim i don't know i guess like black trim i guess you could call it and then it has like these um chain detail on either side of the strap as you can see and then it just has like the leather strap so um i really like that part of it it's just kind of different you know kind of different detail i guess and only thing i don't like about it is this part here with the where the zipper is and i'm sure that's just to kind of help you open and close it but it's to me it's just a hassle because it just kind of it usually it's kind of like gotten better now over time as i've worn it but it just kind of it was kind of like just sticking out and just kind of just yeah just it's kind of crazy but i think i've worn this bag enough that it just it pretty much kind of stays down but because it wasn't it was just kind of like it was i guess because it's leather you know leather kind of gets stiff until it kind of gets worn and so it was just kind of you know like sticking out and every time i push it down i just pop back up so it's gotten it's kind of gotten better over time um i think it kind of does it more so when i have the bag like closed it kind of sticks out more but when i have the bag open it's not as bad but yeah i don't, I don't know what this is like a tassel but anyway it's just to kind of help you open and close it which you know that's the only thing i don't like about it um i may see if i can find something and you know an alternative to this just it's just long and i don't want to cut it no i ain't cutting it um but it's just like long it would have been better if it was maybe like this length and i feel like that would be a better length so i don't know why it's so long but anyway that's the only complaint i have about it other than that i love it like i am so happy with it i definitely made a good investment because this is this is the first like handbag that I've purchased as far as on the luxury market that is not pre-owned. All my other luxury handbags are pre-owned that I got from Vestiaire Collective. And so this is the first one that I've gotten as far as luxury brands are concerned that I actually purchased brand new. So this is definitely um, like a kind of like a, I don't know, like a sentimental thing. I feel like this will be like a sentimental bag, sentimental, sentimental bag um meaning that it'll it's because it's my first like i guess new luxury handbag i feel like this is a bag i probably would never ever ever get rid of because for sentimental reasons you know it's the first of all it's a my a bag that i purchased for my 40th birthday which i feel like is a very it's kind of like one of those i guess monumental or um yeah monumental birthdays that is monumental i don't know i i can't get my words together today y'all but it's just one of those birthdays that you know you just remember and i'll never forget it because 
I turned 40 during the pandemic. So, yeah, so I just feel like it's a bag I will never get rid of. I'll just have for years and years and years. And the only thing about the, like, canvas print here is that, you know, it, you can't, it will stain. You know, it's not like, you know, the other ones where the, it's, the whole thing is, like, all leather. And, of course, I guess leather can stain, too. And, and, you know, you can damage leather, too. But I just feel like this is probably more so will get damaged you know quicker or easier than just an all leather one so just kind of keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting um a gucci marmont if you get the canvas one yeah and that's the same thing the salesperson told me when i went into the gucci store because so i went into a gucci store here um in atlanta in the atlanta area where i live and the um the sales guy told me that it stains, you know, that it's easier to stain that, you know, this kind of, you know, print or material or fabric, I guess, than it will, you know, um, the leather. So, yeah, that's the only thing, but I try, like, I don't have, I have some, have kids, but I don't have, like, little bitty kids, you know, they're more accident prone and more likely to get things messed up than older kids, I feel like, and not even just kids, just, you know, yourself, you know, if you know you are accident prone and, can easily mess up something or ruin something that you you know you probably shouldn't get the one with the canvas print but I'm pretty careful about stuff I feel like um, so I feel like I will take good care of it and I try to I try to be careful with it you know and I try to be careful with it but I really just I want to wear it and I have to worry about oh am I gonna ruin it but you know it's like with anything you know anything that you have you want to take care of so but yeah so I definitely love this bag definitely was worth the money i have definitely gotten my wear out of it i have worn it non-stop since i got it and will probably continue to wear it non-stop until i absolutely just get tired of it um of course i have kind of changed out bags here and there but for the most part this is all i've been wearing for the last two months and it goes with everything it goes with neutral outfits it goes with all black outfits it goes with colorful outfits because it's a neutral color it has browns in it which i love beige and black and i love I love like the the hardware of the double G's like a lot of the Gucci items um, that you see have like that antique kind of gold um, I guess yeah antique gold look look to it and this is more of a shiny gold which I like um, I just feel like it makes it just I just feel like it pops and I feel like if it would have been more of like a antique -y gold or like a brassy kind of looking gold. Y'all know how a lot of the Gucci Gigi's can look. I feel like it wouldn't have popped as much on this kind of print than it, you know, than it would with the um, shiny gold. So I like that detail of it as well. So, um, but yeah, can't say enough good things about it. Definitely worth the splurge. Definitely worth the purchase. Um, definitely worth it. So yeah so now we're going to get into what fits inside of it so i'm just going to go through and pull out everything that i have in here and i have a, a good bit like it fits my it fits my essentials like if you're one of those people that carries around everything but the kitchen sink in your bags this is not for you it's, it's, it'll be too small but for my lifestyle and for you know the way that my life is set up i don't carry around a whole bunch of stuff like that you know so um, so the first thing I got, I'm just going to pull out randomly. I have a mirror in it here and I actually just put this in here. Really? Um, I had wore the bag like this past Sunday out of town and I had put some lipstick products in here, lip products in here and I needed a mirror so I could be able to put the lips products on in case I needed to touch up. But typically I don't have a mirror in my purse, but I just so happened to have it in here and I haven't taken it out yet. So it's a pretty big size you know so it fits in there and then i have a lotion by soap and glory this is kind of old actually i need to i actually need to get rid of this but it it still does a trick and and you know keeps my hands moisturized so i do have yeah so i have some lotion in here and it fits fits well in there i don't even think i showed you guys like how much can fit in here like a whole lot of stuff can fit in here um, and then I have, I'm just going to randomly, I have a gift card. My husband had had me put this in here. Just, I don't know why, but anyway, I have a little gift card in there. Then I have, of course, my hand sanitizer in here. Got to have some hand sanitizer. I have another, um, like lotion product. This is from Sol Genera and it's the Coco Cabana, Cabana cream. 
um yeah this is like a small little sample size here or yeah like a little mini size it's just about gone i actually need to go and repurchase this from sephora but yeah just have a small little thing of that and then i have um a, a wall a card holder this is one of my old ones um i do have a few cards in here but i got this from target a while back and i had all my cards in here as you'll at what as you'll see in a minute i um bought another card holder actually it's from gucci and i got it from farfetch as well i'll show that to you in a minute but i i purchased that one to replace this one but i realized i'm probably getting i'm getting ahead of myself but i realized that that the Gucci wallet or the Gucci card holder that I have does not fit all the cards that I have. I didn't realize I had so many cards. So anyway, I had to keep one with like some of the cards that I rarely use or the ones that I, if I decide to, that I need to use, I'll have them. So yeah, so to have a card wallet and then the card wallet that I told you guys I got from Gucci is this one. And this is the also um, one of the Gucci items that I got for my birthday as well. I had been wanting one of these and I got this off of Farfetch. And I just have like my insurance card, my driver's license in here. Um, yeah, my debit card. So it fits one, two, three, four, five right now. I think I have in here five cards. And it's really, it's really, you know, it's leather, real leather. So it's going to take some time to kind of stretch so that I, can, I, that I can get more cards in here. Um, oh, I actually have all my insurance. I have like three little insurance cards in here in this first little slot. So yeah, um, so that's. The next thing I have in my uh, purse, but yeah, I love I love this wallet, and um, just wish more could fit in here. I definitely, as you can see, it's definitely smaller than the one that I had. So yeah, not, that's the only thing that sucks about us. I still end up having to carry two little card holders, but it's okay. Um, and then I just have my keys to my car, and then I have like just some cash in here, and then I have like. I, this is probably TMI, but I do, I, I do, I carry around tampons. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. I carry around tampons. I just for myself, but you know, when you're out and about, especially if you're at work and you're a girl, you know, when a girl is like, or a lady is like, Hey girl, you got a tampon? Y'all know. Y'all know. You, I'm sure you've been asked if you're our woman, you've been asked thousands of times by other women, girl, you got a tampon, girl, you got a you know i just like to be prepared for that for that reason in case mother nature wants to creep up on me when i'm out and about and you know i like to be prepared so i have you know like three of those in there and then i have some lip products the last thing i have are um some lip products so i have a lip gloss and it's by magic collection it's essential oil lip treatment and it's um just some aloe, aloe vera um, vitamin E oil lip gloss. I don't know if you can see that. I guess got this at the beauty supply store. So, um, I don't think I could find that online, but it's, it's a good lip gloss though. And then I have a lip, um, stick, uh, by Mac and it's Whirl by Mac. I don't know if you guys be able to it'll focus and you guys can see that, but yeah, it's just a lip gloss or lipstick that I got from, um, Mac that I, that I had put in my bag and I needed my mirror for so that's why I have the mirrors because I had this so that I can reapply um and then I just have a receipt a little receipt in here I don't even know what well, is this receipt to um oh this is from a receipt from Carabas and then um and then that's it that's everything and then of course I have the card in here for the bags I guess this is like just the authenticity card there's actually, I think there's two of them in here. But anyway, I just have the, the authenticity cards that come with it. And, um, yeah, another little um, authenticity card. I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah, so that's, the, that's everything. That's a lot of stuff, I feel like. And the inside is kind of, it's, I don't know what kind of fabric this is, but it feels kind of like suede. So you definitely have to be careful with what you, you know, put in here because this, I, I can see this easily staining from, you know, things that you might put in here. So you kind of have to be careful. Yeah, I think this is kind of like made out of suede fabric because it is very smooth. So, but yeah, so that's the inside of it. So that's the bag and that's everything that fits in it. Like there's, that's, I feel like for, to me, that's a lot of stuff, you know, to have in a bag of this size. Like it's, you know, a little bit bigger than my hand maybe. So, 
and but it is very stretch you know very stretchy and you know expands a good bit so i could probably even put more in there but i just yeah i just feel like after after a certain point you just need to get a bigger bag if you're having to like stretch to get stuff in there but if push kind of shove and you need to put more items in here you could you know so because it, it's very it fits a lot and plus i didn't even have anything in like this little pocket here other than you know the authenticity cards you can put you know extra stuff in here too so yeah it's just a very nice bag and can fit a lot of things in it so i feel like it's worth the investment if you are like me and you like like smaller bags like everyday bags that you can just put your essentials in and go and still be stylish and yeah so yeah that's my final thoughts and that's everything that fits inside so yeah i i definitely am glad that i got it and definitely glad that i you know took that leap and went out and purchased something like this for myself i just feel like it's just a good investment and even if i decide i don't want to keep it i can always sell it you know and i feel like i'll get a good you know a good good money for it because eventually this will be considered like a vintage bag and so i feel like it'll resell for you know a pretty good pretty good price you know as long as i take care of it but i do take care of my items so i feel like you know 10 years from now or 15 20 years from now if i get tired of it then i feel like i can sell it it'll be vintage at that point and not get a good deal on it so but yeah so that is my review and what's in my gucci marmont bag and yeah if you have any other questions about it or if i didn't cover something and you you know like i said have questions then just let me know down in the comments um and i will try to link this bag down in the description box and all the items that i showed you i will try to link those down to especially the wallet if you were looking for a nice quality wallet like i said i just i got this as well two months ago when i got my bag so it's still kind of the leather is still trying to wear in so just keep that in mind when it comes to like real leather you got to wear it in in order for it to be stretchy and fit everything so hopefully you know it eventually will stretch out more and i can put more cards in here but really these are the only essential ones i need but i will try to link down below this bag as well as the card holder and anything else any of my other little goodies that i have in my bag if you're interested so yeah so guys that's that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i hope this video was helpful for you if you were thinking about getting the bag or if you wasn't thinking about getting it and you're looking to get a gucci bag i would recommend this one and say it is a good starter bag it's very very it's very inexpensive um, compared to other bags that you could get. I feel like this is a good starter one if you are trying, to, if you're looking to like get into like luxury handbags and you're looking to try to, you know, figure out what to get. This is a good starter one, especially if you are not a person that likes to carry around a whole bunch of items. Yeah, this definitely is a good starter bag at a good price point. It's, I think it was under a thousand, so definitely under a thousand dollars. So if you're not looking to spend, you know, two, three thousand dollars for a, you know, a luxury bag, and you want a new one um, that is kind of, you know, fits your lifestyle, like I said, then I feel like this will be a good starter bag for you. So, yeah, so um, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, um, I will try to link everything down below if you were interested in purchasing the bag. And yeah, just tell me what you, any questions you have or any thoughts that you have about the bag. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys.